Hello, fellow curious minds. How do you do? Welcome to be amazed as we dive into the fascinating world of millipedes. These creatures, commonly known as thousand legs, have some mind-boggling secrets up their many sleeves. Millipedes are fascinating creatures that have inspired curiosity and wonder in people for centuries. These many-legged invertebrates are interesting to look at, and they can be found in a variety of habitats all over the world. Get ready to have your socks blown off as we present the top 10 incredible facts about millipedes that will leave you itching for more knowledge. Millipede means thousand legs, but they really have that many. Contrary to their name, millipedes don't typically have a thousand legs. The word millipede comes from the Latin words mill, meaning thousand, and bud, meaning foot. However, most millipedes don't actually have 1,000 legs. The majority of millipede species only have between 80 to 400 legs. In fact, most species have far fewer legs, usually ranging from 30 to 400. Nevertheless, their leg count is still impressive, making them true masters of locomotion. The first millipede to have more than 1,000 legs was found in 2020. Hold on to your hats. Until recently, the highest number of legs ever counted on a millipede was around 750. In the year 2020, scientists made an astonishing discovery, a millipede with over 1,000 legs. A team of researchers performing an environmental impact survey for a new mine in Western Australia discovered a record-breaking species of millipede, Eumillipes persephone. Adults of this species have 330 body segments and 1,306 legs. Because they live so deep underground, found more than 190 feet deep, they have also evolved to be without eyes and pigmentation. It shattered previous leg count records and left entomologists worldwide scratching their heads in awe. The evolution of these leggy wonders continues to surprise us. Millipedes are born without legs. Just like tiny legless warriors, millipedes hatch from their eggs without a single leg inside. Female millipedes can lay dozens or even hundreds of eggs at a time. They lay them in soil, and some species will even guard their eggs until they hatch. A few species have even been observed crafting little protective casings out of chewed up leaves to protect each individual. When millipedes are born, they emerge from their eggs as legless larvae. They soon molt for the first time to reveal six body segments and three pairs of legs. They start their journey as adorable little creatures, but don't worry, they quickly catch up on their leg game. Millipedes grow additional body segments and leg pairs with each molt. With every molting session, millipedes unlock the next level of their magnificent bodies. They gain more body segments and, of course, additional pairs of legs. Molting is a process that all arthropods, arachnids, crustaceans, insects, including millipedes, undergo in order to grow. It involves shedding the exoskeleton, the hard, outer shell that protects their bodies, so that a new, larger one can form in its place. As millipedes molt, they will grow additional body segments and leg pairs until they reach adulthood. Each new body segment that is added will have two pairs of legs, four total, attached to it. It's like a video game power-up, but in the real world. Many species eat their own waste pellets. We all have our quirks, right? Well, millipedes take it to a whole new level. Some species of millipedes have a peculiar habit of recycling their own waste. They consume their excrement, which might sound gross to us, but to them, it's a nutrient-rich meal. Millipedes eat decomposing plants and leaf litter. Eating this way classifies them as detritivores, eaters of detritus, waste, and debris. Some species will also eat fungi and dead animals. This type of diet means that millipedes play an important ecological role in the decomposition of dead plants and animals and the recycling of nutrients back into the soil. As they munch on their food, they excrete little pellets of waste. Some millipede species have been observed eating these pellets that they have defecated. One reasonable explanation for the seemingly odd behavior is that they are actually feeding on the funguses that grow in their waste material, which then provide additional nutritional compounds that they otherwise wouldn't have access to. Millipedes defend themselves with chemicals. 
When it comes to self-defense, millipedes have an impressive arsenal. One of the most fascinating and incredible millipede facts is that they curl up into a ball to use their hard exoskeleton to protect their vulnerable undersides. Millipedes don't bite or sting. They don't have sharp claws to fight with, and despite their numerous legs, they're not fast enough to outrun their predators. So, how do they defend themselves? When threatened, most millipede species will curl up into a ball. This position allows them to use their hard exoskeleton as a 360-degree shield protecting their vulnerable underbelly. Many millipede species take defense a step further and will also exude poisonous or foul-smelling chemicals from their bodies to ward off predators that might try to eat them. The two primary ingredients in this toxin are hydrochloric acid, which corrodes skin and eyes, and hydrogen cyanide, which can cause asphyxiation. So, if you ever thought about messing with a millipede, you might want to reconsider. Lemurs eat millipedes to get intoxicated. Nature's party animals, lemurs, have discovered a unique use for millipedes. They munch on these leggy critters to experience a mild state of intoxication. Scientists have observed lemurs in Madagascar eating millipedes. Since the millipedes they eat release harmful chemicals as a defense mechanism, this likely causes them to become intoxicated. This might not be about getting high recreationally. The chemical compounds in millipedes could potentially be used to help fight bacterial or parasitic infections. So if a lemur is feeling unwell or losing weight, possibly due to a parasite, the lemur can self-medicate by chewing on some millipedes. It seems like the millipedes chemicals have a peculiar effect on our primate friends. Lemurs also use millipedes as a bug repellent. Lemurs are not just party animals, they're also savvy bug repellent enthusiasts. They rub millipedes on their fur to ward off annoying insects. In addition to eating millipedes, lemurs in Madagascar, and sometimes primates in other places as well, will rub millipedes deep into their fur. It's thought that they do this to help ward off biting insects, as well as to protect themselves from bacteria and parasites who may try to infect any open wounds. It's like having a natural, wiggly bug spray dispenser on hand. Millipedes were the first known land animal over 430 million years ago. Let's take a moment to appreciate the millipede senior. These resilient creatures have been roaming the earth for over 430 million years, making them one of the oldest known land animals. Biological life originated in the oceanic waters of earth, probably around 3.8 billion years ago. For most of that time, all living organisms were aquatic. According to fossil records, millipedes appear to be the first animal to breathe atmospheric oxygen and transition from living in water to living on land. The first known millipede fossil dates back to the Silurian period, approximately 430 million years ago. Talk about wisdom through the ages. Prehistoric millipedes could grow over 8 feet long. Last but certainly not least, imagine encountering a millipede longer than a basketball player. Prehistoric millipedes were true giants, reaching astonishing lengths of over 8 feet. The largest extant, still living, millipede species is the giant African millipede, Archospiros creptus gigas, which grows to be about 1 foot long. But millipede fossils that have been found indicate that some prehistoric species were much, much larger. Around 300 million years ago, there lived a millipede species we now identify as Arthropleura armata. Fossils demonstrate that this species of millipede grew to be 8 feet long and nearly 2 feet wide. They are estimated to have weighed over 100 pounds and probably had few, if any, predators. Not only were these shockingly large millipedes the largest land there invertebrate of their time period, Ten mind they are the largest about known land invertebrate of all time. Jaw drop. These colossal creatures would make even the their bravest among us and, and intriguing interactions with lemurs. These creatures are a constant source of wonder. Remember, the world is full of remarkable secrets, and exploring the realm of millipedes is just the beginning. Keep exploring, stay curious, and let the wonders of nature continue to astound you. And that concludes our showcase of the today's topic. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and relatives so that they too can enjoy videos on wild animals. 
Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.